Republic of China. The highness is the cultural leaders, the religious leaders, all the other leaders. Nenye nyuwe na bantu babu nyoro murio. Mwabale kuija. First of all, the name, Karuma, Karuma Nerumaki, that name, you know our history has been uh, not well recorded, because Karuma means biting something as if something was biting something. So is it karuma or karuma? Because okuruma is to make noise like the water, that water which is making noise. So that is the research the cultural institution should do. What, what was the original name? Was it, was it Okuruma or Okuruma? Because it could be that Karuma, it could be that there were wild animals which were eating people. They can say that Karuma, Karuma, or it could be Karuma. Like you have been mispronouncing Ruenkunyu. Ruenkunyu, but Ruenkunyu, Ruenkunyu, this is not Ruenkunyu, it's Ruenkunyu. I discovered that you are mispronouncing it. Now, we have told you a number of times that the modern economy of Uganda will have four sectors. Sector one, commercial agriculture with the Chivaro, Chura, Aymar, Otita, and with irrigation. I've told you this so many times. If you want to be modern, you'll have to have commercial agriculture with Echivaro and with irrigation. This is number one. And where we have done it, we are doing well. In the few places where it has been done, either partly, either partially or or Hore. The second sector is manufacturing. Factories, factories, factories. As you are coming here, you saw the factories on the way in Kawempe, in Waise, and all those areas. The third sector is services. Hotels, transport, and so on. Entertainment, all those are services. Then number four, ICT. Information communication technology. This is a new, 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 new economy of computers. Now, in order to modernize these sectors, because everything go, causes something else, if you want to do this, you must have this. So if you want, to, if you want a modern economy, you must handle the four sectors as I have told you. But in order to modernize these sectors, you need many things 
like peace and so on, you need peace, you need all that, but having got peace, the most important point is to have low transport costs. You must have low transport costs because if you have got high transport costs, the businesses will not succeed. And in order to have low transport costs, you need a railway. This is the, one of the cheapest forms of transport, the railway. That's why you hear that we are repairing the railway from Kampala to Tor Tororo, from Tororo to Gulu and Pakwach. That old line, we are repairing it now. And we are going to build a new railway, standard gauge railway, modern railway, different from this old one, from Kampala to Malaba, and from Kampala to the border with, 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 with the Congo, Kasese, and then from Tororo later to Guru, to Nimle, and we shall work with the Sudan to South Sudan to take it to Juba. So that we have got low transport costs. Another way of, of low transport costs is the water, this water which you have here. You see, like Albert, you can take goods from Nimule all the way to Fort Porto through Lake Albert. God has put there a cheap highway for you. Then across Lake Victoria to Mwanza, to Kisumu, and so on. We are now using road transport because we had to do something quickly. And we need road transport for human beings. But road transport is not the best for cargo. Cargo is better transport, it's cheaper if you take cargo by railway and by water. And you see how much trouble we are getting with the, with the road transport. Expensive, traffic jam, what have you, damaging the roads. You, you, have, seen, you, you have seen that. But we, we had to do, to do that because we were coming from a very, a, a very low base. Abanyankore na banyoro bagamba ngo arukuzumuta arukugo kuzumuta korachi arukugo kuzumuta korachi aha our people here say that if you are coming from underground you don't say this sun is not enough any sun is better than when you are underground uh, so we are coming from a very low base. So anything, transport, the Katamak Road, fine. But the Tamak Roads are not the best for cargo. Even to go from Mombasa. This is a wastage, very costly, damaging the roads. So you will see we are going to build pipelines to take the petrol through the pipelines. Petrol doesn't have to go on the roads. Petrol tankers, all this. No, it should be in the pipelines. Those traffic, petrol tankers should be off the road. Then cargo should be on the railway. So that you remain only with passenger vehicles on the road, which are not very heavy, which are 
you will save the roads, you, you have cheaper products. So you, you the leaders, when you are talking to our people, clarify so that they don't, because when you talk too many things, people get confused. They don't know what is important and what is not important. So this is number one. Law, if you want a modern economy, because the goods you produce must be good quality and cheap. Otherwise, people will not buy your products. They will buy the products of others. In the past, we were buying goods from Europe. But if you look for goods from Europe now, they are not, they are not there. Many of the manufactured goods are now coming from China, from India, from other places. How were the Europeans chased out of manufacturing? High, trans high costs. High costs. Uh -huh. Their vehicles are very expensive. They are things that, ah, forget about the Europeans. So, of course, for the Europeans, the biggest problem, one of their biggest problems was that they were paying themselves very high salaries. Because very high salaries are also another problem. If you pay yourself too high salaries, what you produce would not be affordable. That was part of the problem of the Europeans, because they don't listen. They, they think they know everything. Therefore, number one, ensure low transport costs. Number two, ensure low costs of electricity. Have cheap, reliable, affordable electricity. Number three, the cost of money in the banks especially for agriculture and for manufacturing. The money from the banks must not be very, must not be high interest rates. Because if it is high interest rates, how will you, how will you make profit? That's why for, for, for the government insisted on UDB, borrow from UDB, borrow from Emioga, from PDM, have nothing to do with, with, with the money lenders. Those money lenders are your enemies. And I'm going to do something about them. I'm going to, to crush the money lenders. They are criminals. But they are encouraged by you people. How do you allow somebody to, to say he has given you money, but you make an agreement that he has bought? In the document you say he bought when he just gave you two, two million shillings for paying school fees. How, why should you do that? But anyway, we're going to arrest you now. We're going to arrest you. We're going to deal with the money lenders. So, money for manufacturing for agriculture must be cheap money. The, the, the low cost of money. For nightclubs and so on, you can you can go to the commercial bank and borrow expensive money for, for nightclubs. And, uh, I'm not bothered with that so much. And importing, importing, uh, importing wigs and and uh, and perfumes, and you go to the commercial banks. 